Hello. If you want to customise the title and description area of a studio press team, that's this bit here, there are at least three ways to do it. So, one way, if you go to your parents, header. Now, if you've got an image that you've made that would fit in this area with your logo or something else on that, you can put it here just click this browse button it's got to be 960 pixels by 120 and just browse and upload it there but if you want to keep the text as we've got here keep this text and this description you can change the color down at the bottom here so if you know the number of a color that you like you can just type it in save changes now it's going to turn the, co the color of the text to blue so we'll go back and look at the site it's um, a, a dark color now we refresh the page and it's it's blue to match this or if you want to if you don't know the number of a particular color just cl click this select color and just choose a color that you might take a fancy to so now, this is, this is okay if you don't have a thing called a text shadow here. Now, some themes, if you look there, you can see a, a really obvious text shadow. And sometimes, this, this way of doing it, using this dialogue here, this appearance header, um, it doesn't seem to work always when you've got this um, text shadow. So you need to change the style sheet. So. The way you do that is you need to log on to your web space, however you do that with your FTP program or cPanel, however you do it. Um, and then, then you see your, your WordPress files, open up WP content, the themes, and then open up the theme you're using. This particular theme is called news. And then you need to open up style CSS. Once you've opened style CSS for the theme you're using, you need to search for title. So let's on on my text editor if I press Ctrl F, it opens up a search box. So we're searching for a div, so we type a, a, a hash key, and then we're searching for title and a space a. So this is this, this is the colour we're looking for, this one. So if we wanted to change that one to, say, um, green, shall we pick? Save it. Go back to our page. And if we refresh this, this should turn to green. There we go. If we want to, we can change the colour of the text shadow too in our style sheet. So if we look a bit further down, we've got title, we've got description, the colour of the description. And here, if we look in this here, you see text shadow. So it's title and the text shadow. So if we wanted to make that olive colour, we could type in the hexadecimal code if we wanted to. Let's see if we've got a different colour there now. So you've got green text and an olive coloured shadow. And we can change the colour of this, which is our description. So go back to our style sheet and we'll just search for description. Put in the hash key. go description and that's the color there so we could change that to we'll change that one to olive as well eh? and we'll go uh, did we save that can't remember I'll refresh our page oh so that gray should go olive there we go simple as that 
oh I hope you found that useful and do do, <laughs> do pop back bye for now